Go ahead, Brian. Well, um, yeah, so I remember, um, and I hope I haven't transposed this from somebody else's class, but uh, I don't know what year it was. I, I think I had you for three years of English, but um, we were having a discussion in the class one day and about English, the, the English language and how it changes and it is so difficult and weird and how the, the letter combinations don't make sense. And you, you went to the chalkboard and you wrote G-H-O-T-I. And you asked the class, uh, what does that spell? So we all took guesses, Godi, Gotti, whatever. And you said, nope, nope, no, nope, no, nope, not even close. It spells fish. And we went like, what? And you said, okay, take the G-H as in like in enough, take the O as in women, and take the T-I like in motion, and you get fish. <laughs> and you know we all kind of were like wow he's right what? you know and then that led to a discussion that led to a discussion about how sort of weird english is how it's ever changing which led to a discussion about um <clears throat> latin of all things and how latin as a dead language is good for scientific nomenclature because it never changes in 200 years you know english will be very different than it is now um and but Latin will be the same. And so um, and I remember that and I I used that same word and that same trick when I was teaching later. I, I taught for almost 20 years at this little rural high school and junior high. But that's a little nugget that I picked up there. And, um, you know, little anecdotes of interesting things that happened at Servite. And I guess it was just it was just an interesting place. You're right to be and to go to, to go to school. And uh, um you know, the other thing I remember is that about that time, the word we were speaking of the English language changing, the word party was always a noun. But about the time we were seniors or freshmen in high school, freshmen in college, party became a verb as yeah. well as a noun. And now I think it's used more accurate, more for the younger people, it's more of a verb than a noun. So that's just an example of all those kinds of changes we were talking about. So that's, that's, that's my survey story. Well, that's uh, interesting, Brian. Uh, you know what I picked up from French class, uh, Larry Toner, when uh, his uh, first year at Servite, um, he was yes. our, uh, he was our French teacher, and uh, we spent more time in our French class talking about what was going on in the football field than talking about French. But uh, but the little nugget that I picked up from from him was he wrote the word assume on the uh, chalkboard okay you guys have all heard this one but he did it in our french class mm -hmm. and then he said don't ever assume again because you know what happens when you assume and then he sliced it up it makes an ass out of you and me mm -hmm. and i have uh, i have kept that little nugget in my uh, <laughs> in my repertoire over the years as well <laughs> That's that's interesting that we both have a little little things like that. <laughs>